Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very, very exciting day. I have been waiting for nearly two months to finally get this package in the mail. What is inside here is the first official piece of It's All Me merchandise. And because of the COVID-19 outbreak and all that baloney, originally was going to be made here in the United States, but because of overload, it got sent to a Netherlands department of where I get my merchandise made. Then it was shipped to me and it got lost in transit. No one ever told me. So I contacted the company after waiting over a month for any updates on the shipping and I was told it was lost in transit. So they sent me another one very quickly, which is awesome because I waited forever for this. And now I'm going to open this first official piece of It's All Me merchandise right here on camera with you guys so you can see my raw reaction. I have no idea what to expect. I really hope it's good quality. I really hope it blows my expectations out of the water. So we'll see. Without further ado, let's dive in to the first piece of merchandise for It's All Me. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay. This is how it's all set up here. So, here it is. And if I'm being honest, the quality is not mind blowing by any stretch of the imagination. It's not bad, but it already looks like it's been like washed two or three times, especially the It's All Me logo right there. Now, on the back is the other part of the design, which is a QR code through, uh, four times and in the middle it says, scan me. So what we're gonna do is see if this actually works. We're gonna scan it here. The QR code campaign has been disabled for some reason. So maybe a QR code expires? I have no idea. If that's the case, well, <laughs> that kind of defeats the purpose of having this on an item of clothing. So that's what it seems. So, I guess there's an expiration date for QR codes, which I didn't know that. Interesting. I was really hoping that would work, but like I said, I wanted to give you guys my raw emotions about this. In case you cannot read that, it says, it's all knee and no foot. I understand now, looking at it, that the text is maybe a bit hard to read over top of the design in the background, but yeah, the logo is not high quality. The website when I was making this design said it was it was good quality because as you as you make things bigger or smaller as far as like the design goes it'll tell you how it's going to print out. Great quality, minimal quality, and every time I made sure that things were, were great quality well it's really not that good quality. And having that on the back and it's kind of null and void at this point is a bummer but maybe it'll still cause people to ask questions. So anyways there is the first official piece of It's Only merchandise. We'll see if I continue with this uh, this company or not. I, I have worked with another one for my second channel, CCPI TV, and it had fairly good quality, um, except for during the quarantine. It was terrible quality, terrible customer service. So I wanna make sure that when I'm putting merchandise up, that it is good quality merchandise for you guys, good quality merchandise for anybody who's ordering, and that it's, it's high quality and that the customer service is good. Because if you're ordering, say you live out of the, the United States and you're ordering, I want you to be able to have a, a strong, positive interaction with whatever customer service that you're speaking with. If you have questions or concerns about an order, I don't want you to have to be run around the block because I've chosen said provider and I wanna make sure that that provider is providing you guys with the best customer service. Anyways, I just wanted to hop on here and give you the raw, brutal emotion uh, about the sweatshirt. I'll wear this, but if, if I were to say this is exactly what I was hoping for, it's not, but I guess we'll see. So on that note, as always, remember, it's all me and no foot. We'll see you guys in the next video.